I'm having a little trouble fitting this in totally in frame, but this is my philodendron tripartitum. And I've had this for about four years. And you could see that it has this really excessive growth. It's actually on a bamboo stick, which is probably out of frame, but it's a pretty cool one. If I had this on a giant sphagnum pole, it would probably be uh, such a beast because it's already a beast without a pole. But tripartitum actually means three parts. So that is referring to these cool, uh, this cool leaf, which has like three fingers, which is, it's pretty nice. I mean, so many different philodendrons have so many different l cool leaf shapes. And this one is definitely falls within that category. This is a hemi epiphytic plant, which means for part of the time, it's actually growing epiphytically, which means on something else, so on a different surface. So maybe it's a tree or fallen log or some kind of craggy rocks. And, um, and I have this growing in a pretty well-draining mix, and I also have some stones on the top. Now, I wouldn't recommend putting stones on the top of the soil, but I only do that because it's near my desk, and I actually like looking at the stones, aesthetically speaking, than I, I just look at bare soil. But it's harder to determine whether this has been getting good enough water or not. So if you're somebody who's a little bit unfamiliar with watering your plants, then I would say don't necessarily put any kind of decorative stones on top of this plant. This is accustomed to growing in like moist forests, like within Central and South America. So I would say that if you could give it a little bit more higher humidity, it's going to love you. But if you could only give it a little bit more like moderate humidity, then it's not going to be um, that bad for this plant because I have it growing actually in moderate humidity. And you could see that there's just a lot of growth and a lot of new growth, particularly on this plant. Watering, um, like most philodendrons, it doesn't really complain if you let it dry out between waterings. I have this growing in, um, I would say like almost 10 to 11 feet away from a southwest facing window and it's growing under some grow lights. So uh, with that knowledge, you could see that most of the leaves are being put out from the top and you could see right here some bare stems so it didn't really bother in kind of putting out leaves here so it's trying to get as much leafage towards the light as possible so i would say if you could give this a little bit more like bright light diffuse moderate light conditions it's going to probably love you a lot more than just giving it kind of lower light conditions having this for four years however i've had no pest pressures whatsoever so if you could find this variety you typically have to find it from specialty growers online you won't usually find this in a garden center so if you could get your hands on this one it's a really fun and rewarding one to grow